Okay, minasan. So today I'm going to introduce a little bit more about the te form that you were talking about before. So just a reminder about how we use the te form. It's not actually a tense, so it doesn't really change the meaning of the verb itself. Instead, it's a connector that we use to put together verbs and adjectives. So when we put together verbs and adjectives in Japanese, we can't just use like a particle like to the way we can with a noun. Instead, we have to change the conjugation of the verb or adjective itself. So we'll talk about adjectives、um, in 1020, but right now we are going to talk about how to change the verb into te form to use it to connect it to things. So, you would have talked in class about、um, using the te form to make requests. So, we say like, te kudasai. We're also going to talk a little bit later about how we can use it to ask for permission to do something or to give someone permission to do something with te mo i desu ka and te mo i desu. We can also use this te form to say somebody doesn't have permission to do something. Using te wa ikemasen. Today, we're gonna focus in on how we use the te form to connect two different sentences. So, before we go into using the te form to connect, I want to talk, I wanted to give a brief reminder about how we make the te form in the first place. And I'll include the link to the te form song video、um, as well so that you can use that to help you review. So, for do verbs, They are very simple. All we have to do is get rid of the do and change it to a te. So, for example, taberu, all we have to do is cross out the do and change it to te. Tabete. Neru changes to nete. Miru would change to mite. For irregular verbs, these are the ones we just have to remember. Suru will change to shte. And kuru will change to kite. So, the other set of conjugations that we have to keep in mind is how we change u verbs to te form. These ones are a little bit more complicated. So, if the verb ends in u, tsu, or du, so for example, au, matsu, or kaeru, then we change them into te form by adding a small tsu. Plus te. So for example, atte, matte, kaete. If the verb ends in mu, bu, or nu, for example, yomu, asobu, or shinu, then we're gonna change that last mu, bu, or nu to nde. So for example, yomu becomes Yonde, asobu becomes asonde, and shinu becomes shinde. For verbs that end in su, we'll, like hanasu, we get rid of the su and change it to shte. So hanasu becomes hanashte. For verbs that end in ku, like for example, Um, kaku, we get rid of the ku and change to ite. So kaku becomes kaite. For verbs that end in gu, like oyogu, we get rid of the gu and change to ide. So oyogu will become oyoide. We have one special exception, iku. Changes to ite in the te form. Okay, so we reviewed how to make the te form. Now let's look at how we can use it to connect two sentences. Let's take a look at some of these examples. So, I can say, Ega o mimas, kohi o no mimas. I watch a movie, I drink coffee. So, up till now, whenever we've had a sentence like this, We've had to say them as two separate sentences. But with the te form, we can join them together and say them in only one sentence. Ega o mite, kohi o nomimas. 
映画を見てコーヒーを飲みます。I watch a movie and drink coffee. How about the second picture? 部屋に入ります。電気をつけます。So I enter the room, I turn on the light. Instead of saying two separate sentences, with the te form, we can put them together. 部屋に入って電気をつけます。So I enter the room and turn on the light. 部屋に入って電気をつけます。I can also, so I can use this te form to make compound sentences, to make sentences with and. I just take the first sentence in the te form and combine it together with the second sentence. So this te form means like and or and then.、Um, so this is,、um, we used to mean and in Japanese.、Um, to is another and that we have learned. But we can only use to in between nouns. We can't use it with adjectives and、um, with verbs. With verbs, we have to use the te form. When we use the te form to combine different sentences, it also has the implication that we did the actions in that order. So I did the first thing and then I did the second thing. We can tell what the tense of the sentence is because of the last verb. So, the te form doesn't have like a tense. It doesn't really tell us that much about the meaning. It just tells us about the connection. So, for example, I can say, Toshokan ni itte benkyo shimas. I go to the library and study. Toshokan ni itte benkyo shimas. Or I can say, Arubaito o s t e uchi ni kaerimashita. アルバイトをしてうちに帰りました。I did my part-time job and then I went home. So we know that the second sentence is in the past tense, the whole thing, because the ending is past tense. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. See if you can put together and make a sentence with the te form. You can pause the video if you need a minute. Okay, let's take a look together. So I go into the room and I turn on the light. Heya ni haite, denki o tsukemas. How about I see a movie and I drink coffee? Ega o mite, kohi o nomimas. So, we use the te form to join them together. Let's try another one. So, kippu o kaimashita. Densha ni norimashita. So, I bought a ticket. I got on the train. How can I combine these together into one sentence? Let's test it out. Kippu o kate. Densha ni norimashita. So, I bought a ticket, then I got on the train. So, we can tell that this whole sentence is in the past tense because of the mashta at the end. Okay, so let's take a look at Takeshi san here and see if we can come up with a sentence、um, that shows the two actions that he did together. You can pause the video if you need a couple seconds. Okay, let's see if we can make these sentences. So, Takeshi san wakes up and then eats breakfast. Or, he wo- sorry, he woke up and then ate breakfast. Okite, asa go han o tabe mashita. How about he closes the window and goes out? Or, I'm sorry, he closed the window and went out. I apologize. Mado o shimete, How about he went to the ocean and swam? Umi ni itte, oyogi mashita. He turned off the light and slept. Denki o keshte, ne mashita. 
So we can tell that all of these are in the past tense. Um, they all happened in the past because of the mashita at the end. Okay, so that about covers it for how we can put sentences together using the te form. See if you can practice it using the exercises below.